uh, how do you induce the, yourself for astral projection? And is there any easy way for us to do it? We have technology that helps us with our astral projection. It is made for us. It is designated for us. That is why you don't hear from more of us. There is only so many that are designated, that are allowed to speak to humanity. Regular astral projection without technology is permitted. Mm -hmm. But many do not come here. It is forbidden. Okay. But technically, how do you do Naturally, how would you induce your astral projection? Is it easy for you to astrally project? We have devices that attach to our heads. Okay. And then we dial it into the specific area uh -huh. of the brain okay. where these, where this happens. I'm, it's hard to explain. But, and then they can take that thought and project it. So do you have advice how humans could uh, help themselves to do astral projection? I tried. I can walk around my house, but when I go beyond that, it's something unknown, and I can't really feel it or see it. I think it's it's more imaginary than real. Some people have no problem. They can go anywhere. Some of them see this um, silver cord. Some don't see silver cord. But you know that is a fascinating topic. People love to astral project, and some would like to get some information from astral projection. First thing about astral projection is you must believe that you can do it. Yes. You must believe in it fully. But and that's only the one part of it. The other part is that you have to expand yourself. Uh -huh. You start with a space inside and expand that space outward until you reach beyond yourself. When you reach beyond yourself, then it becomes tricky because within yourself, that is not a projection. Mm -hmm. That is just within yourself. Your being has just fully enveloped yourself with your mind. Mm -hmm. Your mind then must understand that it is not going to be in the body. Mm -hmm. The body is comfortable. Outside the body may not be. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you take this form, expand it, bring your mind into it, and force it outward mm -hmm. in a loving, gentle way. But you let the elements draw you. Be not afraid of anything, be part of everything. Let it become part of you. Otherwise, if you do not let it become part of you, you can't go any farther. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, perfect sense. So you become everything that you touch, mm -hmm. and it moves outward. Of course, your spirit guides are here to help you. So you will be helped. with. But I would prepare with many prayers. Yes. But it is easier for us who have telepathy to do this mm -hmm. because we can move out from ourselves easily and gather information from others. Oh. Does that make sense? Yes. Because we become interactive. But this is something different. Actual astral projection is actually making yourself into the into everything. Can you give us a prayer which we could use for an astral projection? Each person has their own way. Okay. My way All right. is, I could tell you what I say to myself. Very good. I tell myself that I am here, first of all, and that I know that I can move out. And if I need to move out, I can go quickly if I need to. 
But my basic prayer with this in mind is that God is the center of the universe. I am now the center of the universe. I am now moving out from the center of the universe into everything. And I picture myself in the center of a sun or in the center of a galaxy or the center of something beautiful and wonderful so that I can move out from that. But it starts as a little small light with inside and the light gets greater. Does that make sense? Perfect sense. Perfect sense. Thank you. How do you return? Returning is much easier. If you do not become part of something you're touching, you return. All right. You cannot go any farther, and if you're not going forward, you're going backward. Okay. So. How to communicate with, with the guides, with the spirit, spirit guides? This is another way you can do that. You can, as you move out from yourself, you engulf them as well. So mm -hmm. you become part of them. They become part of you. You can talk to them more clearly, and your, your higher self as well. I've never... I, I, the only thing I can see in my meditation is light kind of coming and enveloping me and then leaving slowly. I, but I, I never have to see, tell you yeah, okay. that I am not sure that my method will work for you. I understand. You are a human. Yeah. I am a Lyran. This is the method that works for me. If it does not work for you, there perhaps is better methods. I will look into that. Thank you. So I never can hear, I can hear the answers, I send the question, answer comes to me, but I never can face my higher self or my guides. Can, how would you recommend kind of facing them I, and hearing from them? I hear them, but I do not see them. Okay. We do not see our higher self or our spirit guides, okay. but we hear them and can be with them, and we can feel them. Mm -hmm. Do you hear them telepathically? Yes. Is it the same telepathy you would use to other no, neurons or different? It's a spiritual tele telepathy. It's not like it's not like interacting with someone. It's like in your head, but not out of coming from someone else. We recently discussed uh, there are apparently two types of telepathy. One is face to face where we have to see the other yes. being, and another one, even to other dimension, you can telepathically connect. What's yes. the difference? How was the mechanism? That's the astral projection part. Ah. So you can speak to others like I am speaking to you mm -hmm. through this astral projection that is modified from our brains. Okay. And it is not tele telepathic at all. Okay. I cannot read your thoughts. Okay. I can read. Jim's thoughts because I'm here. Okay. But that is all. So you speak to your guides through I astral can, projection as well? I can pick up other people that are telepathic though. Uh huh. And if they have the beginnings of telepathy, I can pick that up. I can read their lips sometimes. Lips help to do telepathic contact? Um, not necessarily. Okay. Not necessarily.